Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. You know what hey, can I get the Hard Rock Zombies opens as it means to go on. Bafflingly. I should warn you in advance, this is a comedy horror rock musical, a subgenre that has not produced a whole lot of classics. Rock and roll! But willfully bizarre can be entertaining, so let's give it a chance. Listen, man, we are musicians, you know, not day camp counselors. A hard rock band. <laughs> who for some reason have the keyboardist from Kraftwerk. <laughs> and which the writer couldn't even be bothered to name have a major audition for an agent at the small town of Gran Guignol. Is this town kind of weird or something? Nothing weird here. <laughs> now, that's a lie, but the weirdness starts before they even arrive. Said in the Middle Ages, they use this music to raise the dead. A rock band who can raise the dead? That would be worth seeing, but the town take against them for some reason. No rock and roll. No concert tomorrow night. This seems to be the usual objection to the music of Satan. My Reader's Digest says that these songs have hidden messages. But it's worth noting they do also cause a traffic jam. The band stay with a pair of aging sex fiends. You're 95 years old and you can still do it. And their midget grandchildren. Can't we watch, please? And before they can even get to the concert, they are picked off by electrocution. Grandma werewolf. A maniac with a strimmer. And a girl who likes to reenact Hitchcock shot for shot in the shower. How about the Psycho? Probably where Gus Van Sant got the idea. None are spared. The whole band is dead, sir. And to make matters worse... 40 years I'm waiting, and you are telling me, calm, dump up, swine brains, long enough I'm hiding a mask! Oh, my God. Bet you didn't see that coming. No more hiding! No more Mr. Nice Guy! But the leader's young groupie now plays the resurrection music. Morte, Sandre, amen. And the zombie marching band takes its bloody vengeance. To summarise, a rock band whose music can raise the dead travel to that town from Footloose, where Hitler now lives, and fall prey to his entourage of midgets, werewolf, a maniac with a strimmer, and a sexy psychopath. I wanna hold your hand. They're then resurrected and take undead revenge on their killers. <laughs> that takes us to the halfway point. After which, I'm afraid it gets weird. Actually, it doesn't get any weirder. It's hard to see how it could. It gets less coherent. This is a delicate topic, so brace up. The first half is total crap, but it makes sense in its own context. The band come here, are murdered, are resurrected, and take revenge. That's a complete story. But there's still 45 minutes to go. You are so the bad guys now get back up again. And attack the town. While the zombie band go through with their audition. and listen to me. This is the most incredible act I've ever seen. We must be watching different bands. Oh bullshit, young stupid. I think it's important the audition is there, that feels like something that needs to be tied up, but everything else that happens in the second half is superfluous. Ghouls hate heads the way Satan hates the church. You see, ghouls are the antithesis of intellectual existence. When your characters are talking this level of crap, 
you've got to be pretty desperate to film 90 minutes, and it can only lead to some very strange places. But there's a larger problem. Hitler and his friends come back to life because they are already undead ghouls. But, but how do they become ghouls? How? Oh, it's very simple. They just... They just... Someone thought that was funny. You think that I am stupid? You can't deliberately make a film that's so bad it's good. Ow! Lord have mercy! It's just bad. Everything else that's wrong with this film, and they don't even spell the director's name right in the credits, you could put to one side and just wonder at the sheer weirdness. Strange town, strange little girls. But its attempts at humour are unforgivable. Oh my god! Oh my god, are you okay? Thanks for watching. Real Hard Corners, subscribe. Simple question this time round. Have you ever seen a film weirder than this one? Let us know your bizarre films in the comments below. It's sloppy exit, but we'll work on it, all right?